Hi, my name is Sumindhi, and I'm going to talk to you about integrative approaches to sleep. Chances are, if you're watching this, you may be having some trouble sleeping. And the very first thing I want to say, and I want you to kind of keep this in your mind throughout, is sleep is our natural state. So returning to sleep is going to be all right. And I think by the time you're done watching this video, you're going to be able to do that. It may be that you used to sleep well and you just had an occasional night of difficulty sleeping, but now it's become more common. You toss and turn, you might wake up thinking about things and then not be able to fall back asleep. You may have trouble falling asleep to begin with. There's a lot of variations and we're going to address those. It may be that you finally fall asleep just as your alarm's going off and now you're groggy and fatigued all day. Or it may be that you sleep through the night but it's not restful, so you're groggy and tired during the day. In this video, I'll probably just scratch the surface, but it's going to give you a good start and a good foundation for approaching your sleep. Um, New research is always emerging, so what I'm going to say right now is true to the best of my knowledge, but it may be changing, and it may change by the time you watch the video. Poor sleep can really affect our lives adversely. It can worsen chronic conditions like heart disease and high blood pressure. <clears throat> it definitely affects your mood. It can affect anxiety and depression. It can lower your immune response, and you know it can affect your performance the next day. A lot of medications interfere with sleep as well, so you want to review your medications. That's an easy start, and you can talk to your doctor also. And as we're talking about medicine, I'll say that there's a bi-directional relationship between sleep and pain. So if you take medicines for pain, that's something you may want to talk to your doctor about and see if they really are suiting you and if they're okay for your sleep and also know that as you sleep better your pain should get better. But you may want to talk about these integrative approaches with your doctor or with an integrative doctor. Now regarding sleep there was an interesting study where they um, had different sets of people and one group of people was only allowed to sleep six hours a night for two weeks and the other group was sleep deprived for two nights and surprisingly they performed about the same on cognitive test. The thing that was a little disconcerting was that the group who only slept six hours a night for two weeks didn't really realize they weren't performing well so they kind of got accustomed just to poor sleep and this may like kind of apply to you. Maybe you just don't get enough sleep. So you can almost think if you're chronically getting less than six hours a night of sleep, that's kind of like starting your day with a drink of alcohol. So you're already kind of just starting your day behind. And that's also been shown, like in studies, that um, people who drive, you know, with lack of sleep, it's, it, it can equate to having a blood alcohol level. And depending on how little sleep, you know, it equates to X blood alcohol level. You may have a medical condition that's contributing to poor sleep. The classic one is chronic obstructive sleep apnea. And if you have this, you snore, your partner may say, you snore all night, you keep me up. And even though you sleep well, you're sleepy during the day. So that's kind of the hallmark for that. And if you think you have some of those symptoms, you want to talk to your doctor. And um, another Another medical condition is restless leg syndrome. And in this case, your partner may say, hey, you kick me all night long. And this can be associated with iron deficiency and your doctor can check a ferritin level and an iron level. And if you have this, that's easy to treat with some iron, but also you can do toe tapping. And there's some exercises um, online that you can look at that describe the toe tapping. There's a video by Anne Marie Chiasson that you can look at. But also just regular exercise really helps with restless leg syndrome. There's narcolepsy and other medical problems, and these are all things you want to discuss with your doctor. 
and this video is not meant to replace a visit with your doctor. I'm going to talk about a lot of things and you certainly can implement all of those and it would be awful if you tried because that would make you stressed and that would make your sleep worse. But just pick out a few different things that work for you because sleep is integrative and all the little things add up. So as you start taking away things that are disrupting your sleep, you're going to sleep better. And it may be that you just do a few things and that does the trick and you'll see which things resonate with you try those maybe you just make one change and you sleep great and that would be really awesome so let's just see what works for you later you might hit a little patch where you're having trouble sleeping again and you might come back to this video and a whole cadre of different things are gonna come out to you and then those may be the ones you want to add so just approach this video from the perspective that you're going to find some things that help guide you back to your natural state of resting well.